Casey Curry is a third-generation racer and off-road champion with overall and class victories in the Traxxas Torque Series, the world-famous Mint 400, the Score Baja 1000, Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, Winter X Games, and the Desafio Inca Rally. Back in 2020, Casey became the first American in history to win his class at the infamous Dakar Rally. It was a stunning achievement for Casey and his team. Though he has accomplished more in the past three years than many racers will in a lifetime, Casey remains focused on his family, competing in new races around the globe and creating new opportunities for technological innovation. Yeah, Curry Household, it's uh, always an adventure, you know. My, uh, my grandpa is a big car enthusiast, big off-road enthusiast, uh, big Jeep enthusiast, and just very passionate about anything that uh, can go over the top, you know. He's, he always had the most state-of-the-art Jeeps and most high-tech of everything. And then my dad and my uncles were the same way, you know, like muscle cars, hot rods, Jeeps, you know, off-road trucks. They always just loved speed and loved anything that could challenge themselves. And, you know, with rock crawling and everything else, like, you know, they, they were always about it. And like for us, like, that's just how we grew up. It's always about, you know, having the kids around and, you know, having just one big family out in the desert. Proudest moment for me personally, his championship in 2010. At that time, we were racing, uh, you know, the Torque Series and the Lucas Oil Series. We had a four-cylinder truck and a V8 truck. We were competing against Dodge, Mopar, and OEM basically. So they had three factory Dodge-supported teams versus us. We swept the weekend. We won the uh, last race, won the championship, showed up the next day and beat him again at, for the. You know, for the gold ring, you know, that's probably the top deal for me. As if competing at the highest level of off-road racing while running a massive off-road parts manufacturing group wasn't enough, Casey's wife joined the ranks of Curry competitors last year when she entered the Rebel Rally, the first women's off-road navigation rally raid in the United States. Allie took on the 1,500-mile, 10-day adventure in her Fox-equipped Jeep Gladiator and finished mid-pack among a ferocious field of seasoned racers. I decided to get behind the wheel because I've spent many years watching Casey behind the wheel, and it's very intriguing. It was really cool to watch and see him do his thing out there. and. When the Rebel Rally was born, I wanted my shot. I wanted to turn two. I wanted to see what it was like, get the feel for it, and have that experience. But then once the rally actually physically started, I didn't have time. <laughs> you know, I had zero time to worry. I had zero time to stress. It was just a one mode, and that was 100% focus. I mean, there was nothing else to, there were no worries, really. I just, I knew that I had to get out there and do it. I think for me, the biggest thing for my kids is the enjoyment of everything we do. Same way we were raised, we go to the river, I want them to ski, I want them to wakeboard, I want them to play baseball, and I want them to play soccer, and I want them to learn how to play golf, and ride a dirt bike, and bicycles, and stay six, and scooters, and for me, it's all the ability of control, and I think that whatever they want to do, I'll support. Hopefully it's not off-road racing, but uh, you know, I think the only reason I say that is it's that it's so competitive, and that you know, there's so many ups and downs in the professional racing that a lot of people don't see how hard it really is. There's not a lot of professional off-road racers out there actually making it, and it's, it's a difficult sport. You know, the, for me right now, where I'm at in my racing career is like, I wanna try new things. So like for me is, is looking right now at finding new rallies around the world, uh, rallies that are more challenging in the discipline of like time and, and distance where it's longer days, uh, but I also want to learn and go and try to do things that are more speed related. So like trying to figure out where I can take my trophy Jeep uh, around the world and try to race it. So um, with that, both those being said, like for me, not looking for championships, I'm more looking for the most unique opportunities to race around the world. Fox Shocks is the brand that has the technology. And for myself, I'm big into technology. No matter what I race or what I drive, like they have the absolute best. And for me, in the, the long career I've had, I've come to realize that like I don't have time to drive around in junk. I want to be around the absolute best. So like on my trophy Jeep, I want to have the four-inch shocks with the bypass and recirculating oil and 
within reservoirs and technology inside with you know, air and all this stuff that can make the ride so good. When it comes to racing, like the trophy truck or, you know, for me and my, you know, trophy Jeep, Wazoo shocks, 22 in the front, 29 in the back. I mean, as fast as you want to go, they have everything needed, plus the people to help make it better and always striving to be better. Then I got Jeeps on 42s that are made for rock crawling and getting very aggressive in the rocks. Then you got the faster Jeeps. I got a Jeep with coilover and bypass on it to get a little more speed in Baja and use it for my pre-runner in Baja. Then I got the Razors. The new ones are electronically controlled. Now I got the comfort in the car. And the other unique thing that everyone doesn't know that they do car stuff like I got a 67 Camaro and it's got, you know, the Fox Ritech brand shocks on it. And I got a 68 C10 and it's got their coilovers on all four corners. And like the ride and the technology is insane because like they're like rebound, low speed, high speed on a Camaro and a C10, like that's crazy. But like to have that, like it's insane. It makes the ride so good. I got chase trucks that are, you know, a Dodge Ram 3500 that's meant to tow, you know, 10,000 pounds behind it. like. Everything we do has Fox Shocks on it.